I'm Jane King at the New York Stock Exchange with me, Nate Bradley, the founder and CEO of Data Vault AI with some exciting news to break. So you have a new partnership. Tell me who it's with and what it entails. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, great to see you. Uh, so we have a new partnership with Burke Products out of Ohio. Uh, they're a defense contractor. Uh, we've been uh, working over quite some time to apply our inaudible tone technology to a chipset. Um, we've been working with our WISA technologies on a module that can be added into uh, devices that are used by our military. So we have the ability to provide a wireless sound technology, remove wires from devices, and we're working with Burke to uh, engineer our solutions into enterprise military uh, uh, contracts. Okay, so like, explain what this means like for in a practical application. How will this help the military? Um, you know, I guess in general society. And well, so military is moving a lot into robotics and Web3. Digital twins have a great deal of utility. Not only is our acoustic division uh, involved in this with respect to uh, bringing a voice to robots. Uh, you know, we see a lot of robotics, but very uh, often you see them in a mute uh, kind of uh, modality. Um, these are uh, the ability to uh, synchronize voice and sound technologies uh, with robotics. Um, also the ability to use digital twins. So our data vaults can uh, use manufacturing information and hardware information to generate digital twins. So things can be stress tests and, and uh, military uh, implementations can be tested in silico, in entirely in a virtual environment. A total virtual reality is, is what I'm hearing you explain. So, and you talk about digital twins. So does that mean like a digital tank or a digital drone 100 percent right okay yeah so the component parts and the data that feeds them the the ability of their performance to be uh, observed in the real world and then it brought into performa um, so that you could see whether you select a particular apparatus or device for a particular task and testing that in silico so you can see at extreme conditions which particular a configuration of that device and in, in the case of a drone where you have so many configuration choices uh, you're able to make those selections based on in silico analysis so we're working with Burke along with a, 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 a number of other technologies that they've already developed uh, to integrate our technologies both on the sound side on the data side uh, to implement uh, solutions for their clientele uh, and, and make uh, large contracts available to our to our company. Uh, and you can test those digital twins in various, I guess, variables to know what would work and what wouldn't. Am that I understanding is, this right? That is okay, right. Okay. So by setting the conditions um, outside of the apparatus by adding wind, adding adding uh, nighttime conditions, v, uh, any other conditions, uh, the, the enemy forces having their configuration and being able to change those conditions to see how we would respond in silico to, to use a uh, digital twin to test things in a virtual environment before uh, entering the real world environment with those those decisions largely made already. Okay, so what's the next then? I guess you begin the testing and then take the data from that and- We do, there's a, there's a number of contracting opportunities where we're exploring on behalf of, uh, of these military contractors how to implement Web3 technologies, digital twins, acoustic wireless technologies within these environments. So it's really the exploration of that, how, how to optimize that and bring it into scale and into a really military grade manufacturing. So we have a, um, a, a very strong partner here that that's uh, fortifying all of our products, bringing our products to a military grade. And that, that allows us to trickle that down to all of our consumer uh, products and, and all of our customers. Okay, very interesting, Nate. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.